Okay, when you're talking about pressure gauges, there's a difference between overpressure and burst pressure. And the reason I'm sharing these things, because if you're ever doing a takeoff or looking at specifications, some of these things may be listed. Burst pressure is the amount of pressure that a sensing element will take before it catastrophically fails. So, for instance, if I had a 0 to 60 PSI board on tube, how much pressure can that tube handle before it's just going to burst apart? General rule of thumb for pressure for board on tubes is 10 times, up to 1,000 PSI. So, if you had a 0 to 15 tube, it should handle 150 PSI before it just catastrophically fails. It might look like a balloon when you're done, when you open it up, but it certainly uh, should hold that kind of pressure. Once it goes above 1,000, that overpressure comes down pretty fast. Like if you go to a 5,000 pound gauge, it's not going to handle 50,000 pounds. It might handle 10,000 or 50. So again, burst pressure is catastrophic failure. Overpressure is the amount of pressure that a gauge will handle and still be in calibration. For instance, if you had a 0 to 100 pound gauge, you might see in the specification, they'll say must be able to handle 25% overpressure. So that means if they had a spike in their system, that it would spike up, maybe go to 125 and come back and still be within calibration. So overpressure means the amount of pressure a gauge can handle, but yet still maintain its listed calibration when the customer bought it.